guys. Like I promised, I am giving you. Uh, I fix my hair. Giving you guys. Um, I'm gonna do another drawing for the crochet net giveaway um, on Friday. Yeah, I was thinking I was doing it tonight, but tonight I'm just giving you guys an update. I had to do my Young For Your Mom Raw uh, link down below. I had to film that tonight because normally I film it in the car on the way to the office. But since Matson has gone back to school as of last week, um, I film from the time I drop her off to the time I get to work, which only takes about six or seven minutes. And it used to take me a good 15, 20 minutes to get to work straight through. Go on. I'm outside right now. Um, I have to be careful not to cover up the microphone. I have a bad habit of doing that. Because uh, normally I've got it hands-free on my little gadget in my car. Um, or I have it on the selfie stick. Or I have it on the tripod. When I hold it in my hand, I forget. And I cover up the microphone sometimes. Go on, find this now. I don't know if you guys have seen Rams here or not. He's my, my little blonde chihuahua. What other color you'd call him because he's not tan. Um, he's, a, he's a blonde color. Um, strawberry blonde, but not really an orange. Very pale. There's a little white diamond right here. Little white tips on his paws. Good boy. No, go boobies. Find your smell. Sorry, I'm trying to get him to go. <laughs> you gonna go? Alright, you done? You know, going night night. I have to crate him at night because he doesn't, uh, he doesn't do out. Oh, you gotta go. Oh, go that way. Okay. You go that way. Go ahead. He doesn't, he's, got to, he's going on the other end of the carport. So we're going in the dark. Go on. Find your snow. We have to crate him at night because if he is left unsupervised for more than two hours, he will whiz everywhere. It's just what he does. I, I, I don't know why. Find your snow. Go puppies. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop you guys and I'll, I'll take you back in the house. Alright guys, I brought you back in. <laughs> I didn't realize how dark it was going to be on that end of the carport. But anyway, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, it is not Sunday, it is Monday. I put up something briefly yesterday just because I want to keep to my commitment and it holds me accountable. When I say I'm going to put something up on Sunday, I'm going to put something up on Sunday. I don't know what it might be. Uh, it may just be chit-chatting. It'll be craft-related, though. Um, I do not have... I'm trying to see. I've got so many cords on my desk. I, I was going to see if I needed to... Turn on my little light. Um, didn't know if I'd show you guys this or not, but I'll see. My little, I have a little ring, and then I've got this is my six inch, and then I've got a twelve inch on a an actual tripod um, that is adjustable, different colors. Sorry, tickle in my ear, but I didn't know if I had this plugged in. I need to have this plugged in. There we go. All right. Let's turn you on. Woo! All right. The reality of the color of my face is uh, kind of scary. I have food on the chin. Yeah. Anyway, let's turn that down a little bit. Oh, nope. That was changing colors. Let's tone it down. I don't need, really don't need a true light. Eh. That's good enough. It'll, it'll centralize on the the magazine anyway and I've got this on a tripod on my for my phone but Christy and Ellie if you are watching um, I'm not gonna wait any longer I am gonna go ahead and get those out to you guys in the mail I apologize I was hoping to hear from the other winner I did not um, just to let you guys know I'm going to pull it back out because I have theirs packed up and ready to go theirs are in ready to go um, for the crochet giveaway it was actually two different uh, drawings combined so it was the 1060 yards of the two Hanks 
It was the Craft Yarn Council of America, um, which had, I think these had crochet and knit. Yes, crochet and knit designs. Um, it had these. Oh, see now, the one thing I don't like about this is the glare. I'm gonna have to put something on that. And then it, I also had the um, Annie's Crochet Number Twenty Six newsletter, Old Fashioned Love Affair, and has all kinds of great patterns in that. Um, just tons and tons, and it shows you how to do these cute little. If I think this hanging, make sure I'll, this isn't just an insert. Nope, it's just that kitty cat one's just an insert. Which actually we'll take out. But this is one of the things that you can cover that up. One of the things you can get in this anyway. So that that was that was in the drawing for the giveaway. So I'm gonna redraw this Friday if I do not hear from the winner of the last giveaway. Um, I think I've given ample enough time, and I think what I'm gonna do from now on is give you guys um, two weeks. If I do not hear from you within two weeks, I think that's plenty of time uh, for someone to spread the word and let you know if you don't, you know, if you haven't gone to check out my channel. And like I said, you know, just as a tip to remind you guys, those of you who enter a lot of giveaways, make yourself a playlist. Make yourself a giveaway playlist, and then that way you'll know to go back and check. And I have rice all down my shirt. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Oh, I know. I emptied my rice bowl before I came in here because I needed to put it away. Anyway, to be discussed. Um, in my future giveaways, I'm going to be put, put, putting together like little gift packs. I got these little scissors. They work, they cut paper great. And some of them cut yarn and thread great. I got a really good deal on them. Because I'm planning on making, I'm not going to use these, I'm planning on making scissor fobs. Um, it's going to have a little chain on the end of it. It's going to have stitch markers attached to it. It's going to have a needle threader for darning needle and for a cro cross stitch uh, on the end of it with some real fancy beads. Um, I had planned on having these in my Etsy shop. I was trying out different types of scissors. Um to see which ones these actually feel sharp enough they're sharp it's just they don't always connect very well right there this one just happens to connect really good I'll try it on some yarn uh, but anyway some of them do and some of them don't I was gonna see if I had there was a pair see like this one's like see how that it's not completely together, together. Um, like I said, they put cut paper great. So anyway, a part of, part of, and I was testing them out. Where's it at? On some of this where it was cut <laughs> on my bag. Um, my little, my little food bag. But anyway, so I've got a bunch of these that I'm going to be um, adding to the giveaways. I'm going to be adding, um, a little one of these uh, y'all know I love Garfield so I'm going to be putting a little Garfield comic in there um, sharing the love and then you will also get one of these needle threaders now the really sturdy ones these are great for threading these don't last very long unless you're doing like thread um, but I thought it'd be a nice little gift to put in the giveaway and the only thing that's taped down this is washi tape so it peels right off um those of you who aren't familiar with washi tape it just it just just peels right off it's it's not industrial strength tape or anything it's just uh it's paper tape is what it is it's paper tape so it just peels right off of whatever you put it on but anyway so little decorative cards and then it's got my email address and my my work phone number, I say my work phone number, My, it's my house number that I have, um, so you can call it any time if you are interested in something maybe personalized in my Etsy shop, or, anyway, so I got a bunch of those, and so that'll go in little gift bags, and then I've got these little organza bags that I'm going to put them in, um, 
just little goodies. Maybe a scissor fob. These are for my orders for whenever people buy uh, needle minders or scissor fob. I mean, a uh, needle minder, scissor fobs, or um, stitch markers out of my Etsy shop, um, which I don't have any up in there right now. It's terrible. And I also make earrings. Um, and this, that's what the organza bags are for. But anyway, so I thought I'd fill some organza bags with some of these little goodies um, for when I do my giveaways as well. So I thought I'd share that. Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't bring my, oh, I've got an itchy nose. Y'all, I think I'm coming down with something. I woke up this morning with a sore throat. It still feels tight. And I, every time it does that, I know something's coming. Um... But anyway, so I was going to go over, now don't forget, we've got the um, three giveaways going on right now. I've got a cross stitch giveaway, a crochet giveaway, and the drawing will be done um, actually on the first, daylight savings time. Um, I'm going to show you, this is my little handy dandy zipper bag. I think I paid a dollar for this at the Dollar Tree. Um... And it's funny because I used to be able to stitch on 22 count without any type of eye gear. So I got these. Aren't they cute? The camera's showing them as kind of like pink, but they're, they're a deeper pink. They're more of a purple. So I'm having to use these to now see. Oh, here's an example. This is my scissor fob that I made for myself. And like I said, I've been trying, I've been buying different types of scissors just to try them out. Uh, but this is mine. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to put like stitch markers on it. Um, there's a little clippy and here's the fob. And then, you know, a little gem on the end to make it look cute. And then here's my needle threader. These are actually in my Etsy shop right now. Um, Hobby Lobby has them for $2.99 I think and I've got them for $1.75 free shipping or $1.50 free shipping. I think it's $1.50 free shipping. That's what I've got them for right now. This I do not have set up for. Like I said, I'm trying out some scissors. These are amazing, but I paid $8.99 just for the scissors. So I want to make it affordable for you guys if you are interested in something like this. I have one of these in each one of my cross stitch bags. It's, it's just very handy. Um, and I'm not sure what the price point is going to be on them when I when I get them all done because I do have a couple um, of wholesalers that I did find some really good scissors with that were um, thread worthy because a lot of scissors can cut yarn but not everything is thread worthy because when you cross stitch you want to have it cut close to the fabric especially if you're going to frog something you need these really sharp well, that's not going to show up good. The sharp end points. It's not going to. It's not going to focus. Anyway, you want something really sharp. The cats are just in my house. Um, but anyway, so I'm working on my Serenity Prayer. I was going to show you guys. These are the colors that I'm using. Two greens and a brown. You can do this pattern with any three colors. Um, I recommend a dark for the highlight. And then two contrasting colors. So I have a, I have the dark green for the cross stitch letters, or for the, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And then the light, here it is. This is what I'm talking about. For the dark letters, I've got the dark green, and then I have the light green for the big uh, fancy letters, and then I have the the dark brown for, or rather it's more of a medium brown, um, to do the outline. You can do, you can, I made this pattern so it's versatile, um, that you can use any of your favorite colors or who, if you're making it for somebody, any of your favorite colors, their favorite colors, you could do, I'm doing it and I'm doing it on a, um, a very light gray 14 count Ada, only because I have a bolster of it. Um, <laughs> and what I will do is I will go ahead and like, I've got two needles. I don't know if I can see this a little bright. Let's see if I can cut this back down. Yeah, I have two needles. There they go. Sticking in right there. Um, only because I don't have my needle minder on here. I don't know what I've done with it. The cats have probably taken off with it somewhere. Um, but what I do with it. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry. 
I guess I should have put them up before I got on here with you guys. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, with this, with this pattern, it's very versatile. You don't have to follow. I think I have it in blues and maybe a 3371 as an outline for DMC. This was a pack of coats that I got. Oh, there's all my needles everywhere. A pack of coats. I'm going to have to be careful. Um, that's what these JP coats is what these are. But yeah, you can use any three colors. You need a dark and two contrasting. Um, what's really pretty is like an, an orange. I could You could do like um, this in a dark orange. And then this in like a yellow with a, the black or a dark brown. Like the 3371. I don't recommend the black because it's a little harsh on this. But you could put like um, the 3371. 71 around the um the yellow you could do blues purples shoot you could even do like rainbow colors however you want to but this pattern um is in my shop it's very versatile this is the third one i've made um i've done blues and i've done um a pink and red and then this one is two shades of green but um, and if you guys aren't familiar with the serenity prayer, serenity prayer is something that um, AA members um, and people who have addictions, whether it's a substance or a food or men or women or any type of addiction, um, it's just something, it's like a, a mantra. And uh, just about everybody I know knows what the serenity prayer is but anyway so i was going to show you guys this is where i'm at i've got the i've got to finish the last few letters on this and then i started oh, that light keeps going in and out i've started the wisdom at the bottom i haven't finished um i start in the middle whenever i'm doing a cross stitch i fold it in half and then fold it in half then pin my needle in the point so that i get exactly in the middle of my page um, and then most patterns um, I know the program that I use when I'm creating mine um, gives you the option of the center points on either side of the beginning of the pattern say so this is the top of your pattern this is the side of your pattern um, it gives you an arrow point down and an arrow point to the side in the very center of the pattern itself so that you can meet in the middle and know where your center point is coyotes howling outside. I don't think you guys can hear that. It's very weird. Wow. Ramsey's in the house, so it's not him. He's never left alone outside. Either that or it's a very sad doggy crying. I think it's one of the wolves. We've been having, we've had wolf sightings and we've had baby bear sightings out here too. Uh, very scary. I didn't realize how many needles I had associated with, with this right now. All right, y'all just settle down. It's just the doggies yelling outside. I think they've stopped. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in here. I'm going to lose all my needles if I don't. I'll show you what else I got. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I only paid $1.99 for it. It's so cute. I have several of these. I love this one. This one's really cute. I just have a few a few needles. I have a few needles in there. Um, okay, so it's got a little magnifying. I don't know if you can see that magnifying. Magnified disc. It's not one to open for me now. Right there. So you could use that if you want to um, to help you thread your needle. I was doing it. I was going to put my other needles back in here and what I do is I wrap it around but anyway it's magnif it's magnified magnetic it's magnetic and then in the back it's got this little little tab you pull out and it's got a little little tiny needle threader how cute is that similar to those ones I'm giving away <laughs> but I just thought it was cute they had them at Hobby Lobby for $1.99 very handy. 
Um, so I just keep this with this project because this is the only project I'm actually actively working on right now, which is why these are in there with it. Uh, but anyway, so that's the only thing I've got going on cross stitch, guys. I am so sorry. I originally started this channel as a cross stitch channel, even though I've always been passionate about crochet. Uh, when I started creating patterns, that's when I started my YouTube channel itself. And that was six years ago, I think. Um, no, longer than that. I No, no, no. I started my YouTube channel in 2014, I want to say, because it was the year before I got laid off. Five, yeah. It was the year before I got laid off, and then they went bankrupt. And then I had to, I was out of work for, so I was filming, like, almost every day when I first got really, I had the channel for about a year, and then when I got laid off in 2015, <clears throat> April of 2015, from April, May, April, May, June, July, uh, five months straight, I was filming. I was on here like maybe three or four times a week, and I was on here a lot. And so that's when I've I've cre I've been creating cross stitch patterns <coughs> since 2000. So I've been creating cross stitch patterns for 20 years. But I never, I did them for myself and for my family, but I never made a business out of it. And it's not really a business. It's just, it's a hobby. It's a, when you guys purchase something from my shop or anybody purchases something from my shop, it's enough money to fuel my hobby. <laughs> it's enough money to fuel my hobby. It's $20, $30 a month at that. Um, I don't make much money in my shop at all. But, I mean, minus the cost, and then you minus, you know, the, how much it costs to list, and then how much they take away in fees, and um, if you pay through PayPal, it, um, there's a, they take a fee, and so I really don't make that much, but it's enough to um, help me explore and buy stuff like this to give back. I enjoy it. it it's, it's a hobby. It's just a way for me to have some fun. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so I've, I've been doing this for about, I've been creating cross stitch patterns for 20 years. I've been crocheting and cross stitching. I've been crocheting since I was 10. So I've been crocheting for 50, for 43 years. I was about to make myself older. I've been crocheting for 43 years. I've been cross stitching for 40 years. Because I was, actually, no, I was 12, 11. I was 11. I was 10 when I did my first crochet project, and I was 11 when I did my first cross-stitch project. I still have my first cross-stitch project. My first crochet project went to my mom. It disintegrated because, number one, the type of yarn it was, and number two, because I didn't know how to weave in and tie ends very well. <laughs> I was 10. <laughs> it was a granny square blanket. My mom used that thing proudly and she used it a lot and it just fell apart. I don't even know. But my second blanket I ever made, I worked on it for, I want to say like three years I worked on it and it was a shell stitch. It was one of those, that it looks like a, the what corner to corner looks like today, but you didn't go corner to corner. You just went back and forth and it was like, it went this way, and then it went this way, and then it went this way, back and forth. And but it was it was a, like a mini shell stitch, but it was it was tight. It looked really good. I I it's one of my I still my go to stitches that I love to do to this day. But it took me I added on to that blanket for a good four or five years. Anytime I'd come across a real pretty blue or purple or pink, I would add to it. Um, and I still have that blanket to this day. It's never fallen apart. Um, in fact, every time I would wash it, it would get, um, it's not out of shape. It wouldn't get, I want to say it would get tighter, but it actually got to where it, it locked everything into place. So I, st I don't have that on the back of the couch. No, I still have that one though. But anyway, so I was going to show you guys this, uh, just cross stitch. Those of you who are interested in that. Um, I'm not going to show you my crochet project that I've got going on right now because it's really big. 
it's gotten really big. It's that millstone uh, scrap rainbow blanket that I started working on. Working with that tub of yarn that I got from the, I got two tubs of yarn from the lady um, that's a friend of mine. Um, well, I say she's a friend of mine. I, I, we worked together for a while and felt, found out that we both had the love of cross stitch. She was actually in the process of making um, a blanket uh, that looked like uh, peacock feathers. And she showed me the pattern. I was like, oh, so gorgeous. And she, she never did finish it. I think she said she ended up giving it to someone to finish. Um, but anyway, it was an acquisition that I got a few months back um, before it got, before summer, if I'm not mistaken. It was right after they opened up the state again. Um, after, I won't say after the pandemic, but shoot, the pandemic's still going strong. But anyway, so I, I've made one, two, three... I've made three strong blankets. I've gifted off. I've made four blankets so far. I've gifted all of those. No, I'm yes, yes. Um, two grand, two. I want to say grand nieces, but they're not grand nieces. I don't think they're my cousin's babies. One's my cousin's baby. The other one is my cousin's baby's baby. One was to my niece, and one was to um, my bartender. <laughs> she invited me to her birthday party, and so, hi, hi. Ramsey, Ramsey wants to say hi. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Oh, he's used to being on the other channel. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's used to being on the other channel, but he's not used to being on this channel. Say hi. Can you say hi? Do you see the camera? Can you see yourself right there? Do you see yourself? Do you? Well, now you're up here. Now what? You ready to go night night? You ready to go get in your bed? You go night night? Yeah. <laughs> he got on camera a lot tonight for my filming my Young Forty Mom Raw channel. So I was on there a lot. I was playing with mommy. Actually, he's Natty's dog, but we're both mommies. Anyway, so he likes getting up. He likes to climb up here and just put his head on my shoulder. So for you cross stitchers out there, I'm going to show you real quick um, the just cross stitch that has come in because that's what I was planning on showing you guys tonight. Um, and then I got to talking and rambling, which is what I do on my Young 40 Mom Raw channel. It's just not about crafts. Now, I, I will catch myself. I will start talking about crafts because I'm all about crafts. In fact, my house is all about crafts. <laughs> uh, I have organized clutter. I'm not a hoarder. Although, if you were to see where all I have my yarn stashed, you would think I was a hoarder. And people that people that don't know us as cross, as crocheters don't understand. We're not hoarders. We're collectors. And I am a collector of yarn. And don't y'all let anybody tell you any different. You are a collector of yarn. And you are saving it for a rainy day or you just think it's pretty and you just want to put it out for everybody to see just saying okay that was my Tennessee Southern girl coming out at you <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say Ella uh, no catchy name she is about she's the Tennessean as well she's closer to the Nashville side I'm closer to the Chattanooga Knoxville side um, about two hours apart anyway I digress flowers of the month you get November and December's flowers of the month um, and I'm not sure what this goes for in the store. There's a harvest sampler. Kind of pretty. Um, I'm licking my fingers. <laughs> so if I decide to give this away, by the time you get it, the, the virus will be gone. <laughs> um, several letters that you can choose from to make that little... Uh, button keepsake, I think. Uh, okay, autumn, autumn meditation. Now, so far, I won't do any of these. I know me. It's just not things that I like to stitch. I know me. Um, so this may end up going in a giveaway at some point. Holiday sentiments. And this one's got a lot of beads on it. Um, Christmas tea towels, 
pretty. Now, this is just to give you guys an idea in case you want to go out and get you one at one of the local bookstores. If you have a bookstore, like I think our Books a Million carries these. I don't think our Walmart does. Uh, Books a Million is the only bookstore that I know of that we have around here. There's a caddy holder. Uh, here's a Merry Christmas card. I might do something like that, but uh, I would want to design my own. As, as a matter of fact, I have in the works um, a series of cards that are going to go up in my shop that you can make. And I'm thinking about possibly putting kits together. Those of you who do like to do kits instead of PDFs, let me know if you're interested. And I'll see what I can do about putting some stuff together. Um, I don't have it as an option right now. I think Etsy has a way where you can do a drop down and if that's the case I may rearrange some things around where you can either get it as a PDF, a hard copy, or as a kit. Um, and then that will be some new options that if, if I do something like that for my shop I'll let you guys know. Happy Holidays gift bag. I do like that. Something pra like practical stuff. Um, okay, here's some uh, mug warmers. Those are kind of cool. I have some mugs where you cross stitch your image and inside you stuff it. You it goes on the it's an insert that you put inside. Oh, I'm so sorry that you put on the inside. They think it's time to play and it's time to go to bed. Um, if I had him in his house, which I call his house, it's his crate and it's half the size of this desk for a little tiny chihuahua. It's it's a house. Uh, anyway. <laughs> what was I talking about? This is so bad. Oh my gosh. See, this is why I wish I had an editing program that was really good. I would not let you guys... No, I'd let you see it. You know me. I'd, I'd just let it all go. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, mugs. Yes, I had to go back to the next page to think what I was talking about. So I have these mugs. You cross-stitch on a 14-count plastic canvas. The insert goes inside the mug. The mug goes inside it. And all you do is just take the mug part out of the inside around it. You've got, you've got the mug. It's a clear plastic. Um, what do you call it? Not, um, not a cellophane. What do you call that? Anyway, it's a clear plastic. I, I like a I'm trying to see if I can show something like you know a clear plastic hard hard plastic and then you put the cross stitch insert so you can change it out if you wanted to I've got one that I've changed out uh, Tennessee and Christmas and then the inside that the actual drink goes in goes in the middle of that so on the outside clear plastic you see the design that you've stitched and you take the white plastic out to wash that way the inside doesn't get dirty anyway I have a lot of those that I stocked up on many years ago um, I think you can still get them at Hobby Lobby oh excuse me they're like a dollar fifty Something like that. But by the time you stitch the design on the plastic, they're made for um, artwork drawings or color drawings for kids. But by the time you do the cross stitch design um, and you put all the time in, it's so much worth more. It's worth so much more because you're giving it as a beautiful gift. I am way out of time here. Uh, Butterflies and Bees is a sampler that's going on and apparently... Um, I'm only getting uh, part six of row four, block two and three. Um, I wish I'd gotten in on this before because I, I y'all know I love butterflies. And I just think that is so stinking cute. Isn't that so cute? And that's, I mean, the bees are pretty too, but I don't know. The one that they gave me in this pattern is this one. And I don't see the other one. Let me see. Oh, this one. So I got these. This is what I got in this book. And like I said, I just signed on with the subscription. I was supposed to get um, 
the Halloween one, and I got another the Christmas one instead. Okay, these are all in there. Little Christmas tree wedding designs. I like that one. Have a beachy Christmas. Have a beachy little Christmas. Okay, so that's all of those. Um, for my Jewish friends out there, Hanukkah. I'm going to kill a cat or a dog. Winter tree. No animals will be harmed in this video, I promise. Can't guarantee after. Just saying. No, not really. Uh, nativity silhouette. Now, I do like that. Because uh, I think I like the colors. I would proudly put that on my mantle at Christmas. I would. That's that's very beautiful. Uh, peace sampler. Oh, more bees. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's not bees. I told y'all I'm coming down with something. Now, see, this is too busy for me, but it's pretty. It's called winter winter hair. It's cute. It's just it's just too busy. I would break it apart. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I would break it apart and piece. I would take it apart and I would do the birds. I would do the birds and maybe the rabbit's head, but the rest of it to me is a little busy. And I say that knowing that one of the patterns in my shop is an eagle with stuff inside the eagle's form. <laughs> uh, I originally did that one for my ex-husband because I had taught him to cross stitch. I know that sounds weird, but he did it as a way to curb his anger. So, um, and he makes really, really good money and it'd be nothing for him to go to Michael's when he came into town and just drop mega bucks like anywhere from 80 to 120 dollars on floss on portraits that i had put together for him for um to cross stitch crazy right uh, and then the cardinals with the winter frame i like that it's pretty i do like that one there's woodland joy i like the little simple things i don't know why but i like colorful simple things um Winter in the country. I'm just flying by this. Just see you guys know. And that's it. So that's plenty. And that's plenty to keep several people busy for a long time. But yeah, that's the one I like. I, I do like that one. That was the one that I really liked the most, I think. But anyway, so that's what I've got. Um, I will see you guys next on Friday. I'll see you on Friday because I'm going to do another drawing. I'm not doing it on any of the recent videos. I am giving you people, the you crocheters out there, a chance to win again. The, um, the it's for the same giveaway. I'm going to pull names randomly from the same giveaway that I originally had up to begin with. Because it's only fair to you guys um, if, if they didn't. I mean, so I don't want to have to add this to another package. So, be looking for that. Those of you who are still watching me, watching my channel, you will know why I'm pulling another draw on the last month's crochet giveaway uh so yeah so that's all i've got i will see you guys on friday when i do the crochet giveaway please check out my uh daily vlog monday through friday young 40 mom raw the link will be listed down below <coughs> thank you for watching participating and uh, i will see you guys next week peace out we're gonna keep it low key keep it softly spoken with no strings tying you to me i'm happy in